now then. So today, I'm honestly just fed up at this point. Um, I've played against one too many stockpile players, one too many double cross players, and I've done it myself, I know. But I'm playing traps, man. I'm playing traps. <laughs> um, I think it's one of those decks that everybody hates, and for good reason. I enjoy playing this toxic kind of stuff that annoys people. Um, I mean, if you've never played Traps, it's pretty simple as a deck. Um, you want to play Saskia in round one to bam out a load of engines in the form of Cat Witches, Patrons, Double Sand Sentries, and also the Point Slams of like Dwarf and Mercenaries. And then you want to go to a long round three where you just play all your traps. You never play anything your opponent can interact with. Finally play all day in. And then I'd throw in an Osseal because I just like that extra winning kind of thing of uh, just jamming down an Osseal and each of those dead eyes that spawned also dealing two damage. So it turns all of your traps into five point cards in effect very toxic deck very very toxic deck in terms of how good it is Scottetel has better options but i kind of don't care <laughs> i really don't care about how it performs i just kind of enjoy playing it and it's really satisfying playing against things like stockpile that desperately need things on your side for them to interact with um it's something I can sit back, just turn my brain off and just play because it is super self-explanatory. Um, the only thing you have to know is like the mulligans. Uh, so round one, what you kind of, your dream hand in round one is Saskia and kind of one of each of the other bronzes, apart from like Dwarf Mercenary. And then, you know, maybe you have to play Sabertooth Tiger or something, uh, but you're looking to use those engines to kind of get you out of round one, and then you're desperately fixing your hand to get as many traps as possible. Um, because realistically, if you can get all of them down, get seven traps down, which is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, so that's kind of the dream. And as I say, I kind of enjoy this. It's toxic. I really don't care. So, yeah, we'll go into some games. Hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ooh, double cross. Um, typically should be pretty winnable. Pretty winnable. Um, if we actually draw right, oh my god. There we go. That just fixes it. Cool. Remember to always put it on the back row. Uh, we may end up playing Saber 2 for this round. I think we may need it. Playmaker's fine. No good wine will come from here. Not now I'm terrified of a second playmaker. <laughs> um, okay, I mean there's no point in us playing on more units. If they hit, if they have another blight maker and they hit a 50-50, okay, 50-50s matter. Misclicked. This work. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. And if I insert a needle here, what then? Yeah, I work for the board. Let's just buff that up so they don't get to do that again. Fine.
Good. The game over. <laughs> Despite that Sasuke getting removed, which is super sad. I mean, the problem that poses for us now is because we didn't get thinned out. Because Sasuke like doubles up as thinning. Taking all those cards out of your deck is really, really impactful. And you kind of see the problem now. Very easy. That's fine. We're just gonna pass anyway. And like nearly all of our cards that we'll have in hand for the leader. I mean they can take Venossial, sure, but um Onward, sons of Nilfgaard. Yep. We dip out, we try and find these five. We're gonna have to play some units. Um probably out of all of them keep a cat witcher. That matters. Just need to find you as well. No pressure or anything, but we kind of need all day for this to work. I'm not panicking. See, I'm not panicking. There's no need to panic. We're likely, but I guess can't be choosers. I'm already playing some absolutely toxic nonsense. So. I feel like Pitfall's also going to be so good. No one can hide from me. <laughs> what could that be? What could that be? It's not like it showed me or anything. That's crazy. Um, I mean, the good thing is, like, that does nothing. Um, since we aren't going to play any spells. And so they're going to have to manually flip it and we have a one. Uh, really mad. Uh, took down an incinerating. I love how toxic this deck is. It's just, it's something else, and it? it's really something else. I mean, now they know we don't have a serpent trap, which is, you know, something. I mean, I expect them to do this for a little bit. Just try and play the lower value stuff. Hoping for a pitfall. I could really be playing this to be honest. But why I'm delaying. Smartest move. Uh that's a good incinerating trap. That is a good incinerating trap, to be honest. Would have been I don't know, not even a bad pitfall. Incinerating work like a pitfall. Uh that's fine. Uh, we're gonna have to start playing stuff that way. Cool. Cool. Um, so what have they got left? They have bribery, brathens, yenver. Brathens, yenver. Um. Actually, they're running Heat Wave, but they're probably not running two. I don't expect to see two. But there's definitely a Brathens. Um, that's fine. That's either a Crushing or a Pitfall. I'm going to assume it's a, it's a Pitfall. So what will they have left? A uh, blight maker. They'll have a blight maker. Brathens. Blight maker. Brathens. Yenver. Two other things, but because the deck's kind of weird, I can't say Lydia. Lydia. All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hazard a guess. That. Yeah, that's uh. Well, we'll know if that's a pitfall. Bribery. Okay. Kind of what I mentioned before in that part of the video. Young Kelvic kind of helps deck lists. The, the running surrender, what will they have cut? Well, 
right? They have one unit that's really good info. Um, so Brathens, Yenver, who? And another special. Special, what do we want? Experimental Remedy? Maybe? Uh, we also know what they have, by the way. Um, this is this is Pitfall. This is um, let's call it Seven. Style. That's right. I like the style. That's really lucky as well. That being the lowest unit. Uh, so the might have Kuno. They have a good coup here. This is a good time for Brathens for them as well. Yo, Akeem! Oh, so they... Wait, are they not running Brathens? So they do So this is this is coup and something. I'm really confused. I'm very confused. I mean, this just makes sense. Because we know they have... Like, I am 99% sure there's a coup in hand. Yeah, so now that, that team dies. And then Yenzo? Yenzo last card? Also, yeah, the Yenvo last card makes sense. And what is what is traps about being toxic? We got we gotta do it. If I'm playing something toxic, I gotta gotta do it, man. Yeah, this is exactly why I'm playing traps because it just destroys double cross, destroys um, top pal. I was like, I've had enough of those two decks. Like, what deals with them? Traps. <laughs> uh, this should be fine. This should be. Ah, uh, I don't know. They're gonna have a lot of big stuff. Serpent trap's gonna be pretty clutch. Back, put you back. Not really what we wanted in hand, but fine. Hand's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, one of the benefits of like having all of these different ones is like when you play Saskia, whichever one comes out, then you can just play the same one, you know, not interrupt yourself. Um, the abandoned girls are also really, really good. So like there's a niche interaction and because Mr. Opponent's spamming out his leader, we'll talk about it for a sec. Um, so because abandoned girl is a human and the way Saskia works is, you know, she pulls out something that you don't already have. Um, if you're kind of out of stuff left in your deck, you can click Abandoned Girl, change her into a Dryad. Now we get the second one out. Uh, so that is always an option for you. That's good. Now we can just play the other one. Pretty good. Uh, that's fine. Fine, it lives. One thing. Two. Then, then I'm not sure. Then I am not sure, you know. My coins rang to you. Go kiss a dog neat its tail. Think good, I don't want it. Don't particularly want these coming off. That's my I like fighting with style. Let's just remove the chance that this is so. Um and we'll probably actually do that. We'll flip her and then play the matron. Uh, play the matron and then flip her. So now we don't have a human without the door. Only one with no sense oh. would trust the word. That's a big simless. That's a big sim. Uh, but we should be fine. Oh, 
a damage plate. There. And get a crushing. I'm gonna put that on front row. Really doing this. Uh, right, so they want to pass. That's okay. Can we deny a pass here? One. Not really. I guess they never pass, though. Let me do some maths. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, that's enough. Oh, and 9. How about that last one? I'm not even going to talk through the maths. I just totted everything up, the points that we should get. Just double checking that we would stay ahead. Even might as well. Oh, big boy, big boy. Uh, so what are you down to? You're down to talk and something. Talk. Thank you. Um, two, three, three, six, seven, eight, nine. We're getting nine, possibly five. five. If we have to play Aylor in, that's fine. Okay, so we've got three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aylor in's always enough. We shall join the Oh, and this is good as well. Hold on. We got about the four. I told it was like, yeah, we Alien gives us enough points, but the four just makes it a little bit extra. And the deck's like hyper thin now. So we should be fine. We have like two bricks left in deck out of a six card, out of an eight card deck. We want to find one. There's five cards, one five. Um, but we have an era, so missing something's fine. Um, honestly, I'll chuck that crushing trap if our hand gets too. Right, Crushing Trap is a 1 in 4 to kind of put me over. But never mind. Uh, I mean, now the Royal Decree is kind of bad. But that's fine. Royal Decree for just like a Dwarf Mercenary at the end. Uh, actually, plays for 5. Maybe it's just me. No one escapes. Got it? Yep. Happen because I don't know how many, how many, about two. Good. Uh, that one actually kind of makes this awkward. 
didn't end up on in the friction anyway. I'm just speedrunning. Uh, they probably have two units left. The serpent trap, maybe. Yeah, two units. Ah, uh, the glaze. I'm terrified of when it glaze. I almost sadly see it. Yep. Yeah, they win. Which is. Yeah, you know, fair enough. <laughs> we are playing traps. I'm going to find something far more wholesome. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. I tried to make this one like nice and short, you know, just breeze through my hands, because as I say, it kind of all plays itself. Uh, and also, as you can see, I messed about with it for a long time. I barely got over peak because I'm playing a lot of traps. <laughs> traps doesn't really climb your MMR that much, but oh well. Uh, so hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.